Stage 16, the race's biggest day in the Pyrenees and the high point of this year's Tour de France with the Col de Tourmalet. It proved ecstasy for Francis Thomas Vokler taking his second solo stage victory into Bagnier de Luchon, but agony for Australia's Cadell Evans, falling well off the pace, losing over four minutes to Bradley Wiggins and the group of the yellow jersey, now sitting in seventh place, eight minutes and six seconds behind. Cadell Evans conceding that his Tour de France dream of a second title is well and truly over. I think he had a few stomach issues just before the race and um, you know when you have it two hours before the race there's not a lot you can do. Um, yeah, I didn't think it would affect me in the race but obviously um, that's not my, not, not my normal level and it's pretty much Tour de France over for me. Yeah, you have to be optimistic but uh, also, also you have to be realistic and uh, obviously this, this year things haven't been coming together. The year's not over but um, certainly um, you know, the retirement present I want to give to George Hincapi this year is um, yeah, the, the hope and wish for that is. This day began with the vast majority of attention focused on Frank Schleck and the Radio Shack team. Obviously the fallout still very much continuing from his positive doping test for Zypermide, the diuretic, following the tour's 13th stage. His team spokesman, Philippe Mountains, here explains why they simply had no choice but to send him home, even though he isn't formally suspended. It's a kind of suggestion to the team taking him out of the race to prevent all misery and theatre like this, but yeah. in theory, Frank has the right to start here. Made, but it made no sense. He has not the legs to do it now, uh, and it would have been every day like this. The 17th stage will be the race's final in the Pyrenees, from here in Bagnier de Luchon up to Perigudes. It's a short stage and will no doubt have plenty of excitement for the climbers.